Huh. All right, so got my little makeshift car garage. Got the wagon, the back up, and the, the hood up on here. Let's see what it is. Got the motor in the car. Yeah, yeah. Let me go get the light so I can show y'all what is going on. All right, y'all. All right. So the motor is in the car, y'all. Everything is set up. Thing looks good, man. Got the gates coming together. So I'm waiting for a new manifold and um, headers because this one here it had to be cut and the piece I have inside is um, it's bolted on. So I just want to bolt it on so it's easier. Um, some of the stuff the guy didn't, he, he was asking me for, like I was working on the car. But he, he left out one bolt here for the motor mount and one over here. So I had to go to the junkyard and try to find, which I found it, but the whole thing came up. The whole, the whole instead of the bolt coming over here, instead of the bolt coming over here, the whole piece came up. So I got to figure out how to unscrew that. Um, I got to mark the radiator up. I had to put this little rubber, this little rubber right here. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, this rubber right here to kind of, um, so the, the radiator wouldn't rub on there. And um, I got a traction bar. Let's see if I can get it out of here. It, 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 it's right here. And it's supposed to bolt bolt to it's supposed to bolt to right here so I'm gonna have it I'm gonna have it bolted to right here I gotta take that that piece out that tow bar right here and bolt it into the chassis because um, I'm gonna put a new mount in and I'll show you here so I went to the junkyard and got a Honda cord brace and this is for the front of the engine here because I already got one motor mount two motor mount and a motor mount in the back but I want to put a fourth motor mount so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to bolt this in here like this and this comes off in a cord I'm going to bolt it in here and I have what's called a dog dog bone mount which I'm going to um, cut and once I attach the traction bar from here across i'm gonna weld it on so to have a third mount um i went to the junkyard today and got some got the bolts and stuff the stuff that's left over still gotta put the throttle body on i'm gonna put the fuel filter onto the frame of the car um i'm waiting for the wire works wiring harness to come in so the car still hasn't started as yet and i still gotta do one of the axle um the booth on there I'm gonna put the prelude boot now that I got the axle off the prelude. I'm gonna put the battery hold down in. And um, yeah, I'll show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna to try to take care of right now. So I went to the junkyard and got the little uh, foam piece that goes behind the bumper. So I'm gonna put that in. I also got a sway bar because this the car doesn't come with sway bar. So I'm gonna to try to put sway bar just to kind of give it that, uh, give it that extra support. So I'm gonna to have to sand this down put my sander and paint it and I'm gonna have to clean up some of these wiring in here because as you can see the, like the tire is rubbing on here and I'm gonna sand I'm gonna uh, rub all this under the fender down paint it out I'm gonna change this upper controller arm and I'm gonna change the lower control arm which I already have one right here this is a lower controller arm the one I have let me turn this music down yeah so the one I have doesn't have the and um, yeah it doesn't have the this hole right here for the uh, stabilizer link so I can't attach a stabilizer bar to it so I had to go to the junkyard and find a 98 a 99 Honda Civic this car is just pieced together so it's running a, a, a 98 Acura um, brakes which I'll show y'all in a while because I'm going to sand that down and paint it um, it's going to be running a, a not yeah, 98 Acura Integra front brakes um, 98 Honda Civic um, 
front controller arms to accommodate the sway bar um and i have the links here in the bag i have the two stabilizer links here that i'm going to be putting it on matter of fact i, I didn't even check these to see if they're the right ones because this is actually a side this is actually a top mount let me check this here real quick good good show me the right thing so these are the stabilizer links i'm going to be installing on there and um I had to get some I had to get some tools the stupid bag that I had that I took the crazy rays with me to the junkyard pull and pay however y'all call it had a hole in it and I was giving away my tools man to them um the Latinos because it was I was surrounded the junkyard was packed and it was all Latinos um I had to get a battery pack for my impact gun I had to stop being cheap my hands just couldn't I couldn't turn it no more um, my hands was just tired um, but I went, I went to, uh, Sears and got some, um, got the tools that I lost, which was just, uh, thankfully, only two things. And, uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah, and I got the stabilizer, uh, bushings here. So these would go on the end of the stabilizer like this, and when it goes up underneath the car, so I got those two, and I need the 12 millimeter bolts to find it. And um, like, like I said, for the most part, uh, I'm almost done. I'm waiting for the wiring to come in. So today, um, you can see me. I'm under my makeshift mount, so it's going from my makeshift tent, which is going from under the hood of here to the hat to the hatch of the um the, the, the wagon and then it's it's a little bit um uh, drizzle well, not even drizzle it's just a lot of fog outside so um i didn't show the, the installation and all that because i had the individual put it in he never never did a swap before so uh he was a learner as he go and he lost he was losing my stuff he broke my sensor on here as you can see it's supposed to it's not supposed to be broken like it is now. He broke my oil pressure sensor, aka knock sensor. Had to replace that. I should have docked it out as pay, but um, I try. You know that's what. You, yeah. Hey, I'll be giving another race my car to do next time. And thankfully, I took the throttle body off, or else he would have broke the uh, sensor on that too. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm gonna be putting in the uh, the the battery the battery hole down over here. And um, catching these catching these bolts up if I can, I'll probably put the radiator in. Um, he lost one of my rubber bushings, and put the hoses. And uh, he lost my uh, the um, washer that goes into the clutch. This is for the clutch line here. He lost the washer that 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 assembles it. Um, he told me I have to go to the junkyard and get one. So I went out to the junkyard and um, got a washer for that. I'm going to bolt the stable, the uh, shifter linkage to the chassis of the car because my uh, the shifter has a lot of play in it. So this is the shifter here for the Civic. I mean, um, everything is going in gear fine. Well, fine-ish. That's reverse. But, I mean, when it's in gear, it has too much play rocking back and forth. So I'm probably going to I'm gonna bolt down the shifter linkage and um, see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then I'll be taking this piece out of the prelude. And um, just have leftover parts in here. And I'm going to be cleaning up over here my battery hold down. So this is going to be where the battery hold down this sits in there. Bracket that down. Clean up my uh, calipers. Install those. Put some uh, rust treatment on there. I'm going to clean up the stabilizer link. Put on my new um, fuse box cover. And put whatever I have in this bag. I have some uh, bolts and stuff like that I got to put in there. And um, paint stuff out. Uh, do the wiring that I show you on the fender. And um, for the most part... Uh, I think only thing I have left after this is a rear sway bar, which I'm going to try to get off a Type R Civic um, down the road. That's for the rear. I already have everything set up. And uh, the Prelude is sitting over here. I'm not getting rid of it. Keeping my car. Everything works off here on the wagon. 
so I'll have parts because it's, it's hell to find parts for the wagon. Only thing I'm going to take out of here is the 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 booth assembly in here because it's it's once it's bolted up it's just firm man everything is firm i'm going to be putting in these upper controller arms on the civic this uh skunk 2 um upper strut bar on there and um yeah for the most part um waiting for the wire harness and i'll have it connected i didn't i didn't end up um have him put the um wiring harness he didn't yeah, he didn't put the wiring harness that came with the car because if i'm going to plug up a new all new wiring harness then it, it's kind of pointless of me plugging up one and that one was all cut up and if the car didn't run right we wouldn't know either way because it was so cut up so i'm going to get a wiring harness that i know is good assemble it and that's that that reduces the risk of me um breaking something I'm um, trying to take the old wiring harness off so um for the most part like I said everything looks good and I'm gonna do a little rough work here and there and when the wiring harness comes in um hopefully would be will be no more than another week or two I'm pushing for a week and meanwhile I'll be um doing tightening up little stuff I gotta put the sway bar on there but first I gotta um do some you put controller arms so the sway bars can link up with the controller arms and um yeah everything else should be um should be good the um this is how the, the car it sits now with the weight in the front um gotta put the brace in and um put the fenders back on eventually i think the um i think for the most part man everything is coming along all right um Got my thing rigged up. As you can see, it's all misty out here. Yeah, so I've been trying to deal with that. And um, that's why I haven't been shooting any anything for a while because the weather is kind of like iffy. But, I mean, I'm working with it. It's working with me. And um, I'm going to make the best of it. Hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave a comment, man. Um, let me know, um, you know how you think it's coming along. I mean, things came along pretty good. But I will, I've been planning for a very long time. Um, one day I'll sit down and go over the budget of everything and um, tell you why I did certain things and why I didn't cheap out on certain things. Um, mainly because if you're keeping a car for a while, you want to do it right the first time. But I'll go over everything one day once I get the car started. Right now I'm just doing a little touch up here and there. Um, the mechanic didn't have to do much. But... He broke, he broke a few things, and that's to be expected with a, a car that's a 93 engine. Things are going to be brittle, and, you know, they're going to break. And, um, yeah, just do a little rough work here um, while I have the time um, and get things, get certain things done. So, that's where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm bumping my 88.9. And got my parts in here, got my little rigged up camera mount to my um to my car mirror, got my parts in here, and uh, I'm gonna try to get some stuff done and I'll be working on it. But the, the major thing is done, y'all. It's done. Done, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tap your phone blow this damn I may think it blew a while ago. Alright, one love y'all.